Okay, who's ready for another one brand wash day? Wow, wash style everything with one brand and we went through it all. I have been using this brand for quite some time. If you enjoy one brand wash days, go ahead and let me know. Give this video a thumbs up and let me know in the comments what brand you would like to see next. Also, if you'd like to hang out with me some more as I play around with products that improve the health of my wavy curly hair and share all my tips and tricks and knowledge about that with you, go ahead and subscribe and click that notification bell. I am in a really happy mood today. All right, let's dive right into this Keratin One Brand Wash Day. Hey there guys, let's start this wash day off like every other wash day. <laughs> Here is my hair before. It's actually not looking too crazy, but man, I was oily greasy. So all I'm doing here is just getting my hair nice and soaking wet, thoroughly saturated with water, because this is how we wash our hair. Now I'm going in with the Keratin Refreshing Shampoo. I love this shampoo. Okay, that was weird and creepy, but seriously, this is what the texture looks like. It's a creamy texture. It's not too thick and not too runny. I mean, it's what you want in a shampoo. Have you ever used a shampoo that is like so thick you can't quite scrub your scalp with it? It just won't move or distribute where it should. This one distributes great, lathers beautifully. I am doing the normal cleanse here, just focusing on my scalp, not really scrubbing the lengths of my hair, really scrubbing my scalp for a good cleanse. And now when I am done scrubbing my scalp, wow, I really took my time with this today. I pull the lather through the lengths of my hair and that's enough cleanse for the lengths of my hair. Now I'm just thoroughly rinsing that out of my hair and making sure to continually scrub my scalp with the pads of my fingers as I rinse out my hair. Now it's time for conditioner. I'm going in with the Keratin Refreshing Conditioner. I forgot to mention, but the shampoo and conditioner both have an absolutely lovely, lovely, wow, lovely, sweet mint scent. The texture of the conditioner is quite thick, which can feel a little bit intimidating, but as soon as you start smoothing it out in your hands, it just melts like butter. And I've got to be honest, I've tried a lot of conditioners in my time. This conditioner now holds the winning spot of conditioner with most slip that is curly girl approved. I ran that through my hair with my fingers, making sure to finger detangle and it really doesn't take very long. Tangles melt because this conditioner is so slippery, but I do like to go ahead and finish distributing the conditioner through my hair with the brush to make sure that every hair got a good coating. Now, as you saw, I added just a little bit of water to the back of my hair and I've started slapping some water on the front of my hair as well to do a squish to condish. This little pause in the washing process to take the time to kind of swish, swash, squish, squelch, squelch all those weird words, move the water around in your hair, allows your hair to soak up all that conditioner goodness and really get the full benefit of all the lovely ingredients in the product. This conditioner has good moisture and good protein, which is why I make sure to squish to condition with it. Now I'm going in with the Keratin Leave-In Conditioner and you notice that the label is a different color. These products that have the orange label have a lovely sweet grapefruit scent. This is a thicker product as well, just like the conditioner, but like the conditioner, it does melt like butter into the hair. As soon as you start distributing it, it's just like, yep, soaked right up, gone into the hair. I'm just distributing that with my fingers, just like I did the conditioner. And then I will start organizing micro clumps by really pushing the hair away from my face. This is how I style upside down and not have my hair fall in my face for the rest of the day. Also, yes, I do always style my hair upside down. It really does help give me some semblance of root volume. 
I, I refuse to root clip. I'm terrible at root clipping for volume, so I style upside down. Now I'm going in with the Keratin Styling Gel. Again, that orange label means it has an awesome grapefruit scent. Now, I find this product really interesting. It has what I would call a custard-like texture. It's a little bit thick, but also kind of jiggly. Yes quite jiggly. Now I broke one of my own rules and I didn't measure the amount of product that I used and you will see in a minute that I will regret that. But I'm applying this like I apply all my condition, not conditioners, gels. I glazed it over my hair then I roped it in and now I'm starting to really just take my time swinging my head from side to side really breaking the hair off the back of my head and scrunching this product into my hair. Now because I didn't measure the amount of product that I used I got too much and I could feel that I got too much so my trick for that is to rinse my hands off and then use wet hands to finish scrunching the gel into my hair. If you're having trouble getting your hair to soak up a gel, try this trick. Adding just a tiny bit of water with wet hands while you scrunch has always helped me get gels to go into my hair. The great thing about this product is it won't weigh down my hair even though I grabbed too much. This is what the curl clumps are looking like right now. Things are looking pretty good. Now I'm gonna add one more product, but before I added it, I plopped my hair. This is the Keratin Volumizing Foam. I really love adding foams and mousses to my hair after I've plopped them. Because foams and mousses have such a high water content, I find that when I apply them on soaking wet hair, they kind of get diluted down far enough that there's not much of a benefit or effect from them. So that's why I'm applying this on damp hair. I'm using an open palm scrunch. This is the most gentle way to apply it without breaking up my curl clumps. Then I'm gonna be grabbing a dry spot on my towel and giving my hair one final scrunch. This makes sure that all my waves and curls are thoroughly activated, not getting stretched out or elongated at all from the weight of the water. It also removes any excess water from my hair. And no, I don't notice that it pulls any of the styling product out of my hair, but anyway. One more final good scrunch into my hair, making sure that everything is organized and ready for diffusing. All right, as per usual, I diffused my hair to about 90% dry. And then I wandered around my house and let my hair finish air drying in the cast to 100% dry. There really isn't a hard, crunchy cast. My hair feels very soft, but I do think it would benefit from a good fluff and scrunch. So all I do is I flip my head over once my hair is 100% dry, and I just give it a scrunch like this. If this is your first video, hi, welcome. You've never seen this before. If this is not your first video of mine, you've seen this once or twice. <laughs> I also take my hair from being parted on this side and flip everything to being parted on this side. And that gives me some more root lift because I'm volume challenged. This is what my hair is looking like now that it has been fluffed and scrunched. What is that piece doing? It's really soft and voluminous and very, very hydrated and lightweight feeling without being over moisturized. And today is a very dark, gloomy, cloudy, rainy, sort of humid, muggy day. So that is what we're looking like right after I scrunched out the crunch. I will be back to show you how it's holding up later. All right, and I'm back with the day two results. Normally, I take my hair out of the pineapple and show you that. I took it down already. This day may or may not be already halfway over at this point. 
I'm sorry. I didn't document well. But we're here now. This is, I haven't done anything to my hair other than like, I just took it out of the pineapple and put the, the hair tie or Invisibubble on my wrist. This is what day two, no refresh straight out of the pineapple is looking like. I'm grabbing my phone so that I can make sure that I am in frame. That plane is very loud. There. Okay, here's a trick. If you have a giant cowlick weirdness happening in your hair, do that. <laughs> that helps. That's what I do. All right. Woohoo! All right. If I'm being hypercritical of this wash day, I will say that the styling products had light to medium hold. Usually when I layer a gel and a mousse together, I get a little bit more definition lasting a little bit longer, but the trade-off for less hold is my hair feels so soft and lightweight and touchable. Like usually my hair doesn't feel this lightweight and bouncy and silky ever. I really like how my hair feels. It may not look as defined as this, but it feels amazing. Also, I'm really impressed. You're not supposed to do this. Don't run your fingers through your hair. It breaks up your curl clumps, but I can run my fingers through my hair. Like they are, it's day two. I've been running around. I've been doing workouts and running and things. And my hair is just like, buttery soft and slippery and shiny and so happy feeling. So there you go. That is it for this Keratin One Brand Wash Day. I think these products would work super well for someone who is looking for a good balance of protein and moisture in the routine, who doesn't mind lightweight hold, and who also wants to promote hair growth and reduce hair shedding. I really appreciate Keratin as a brand because if I was going to formulate a set of products to promote hair growth and healthy hair from all angles, Keratin has covered all those angles. They have serums, they have shampoos and conditioners and stylers that are going to improve the health of your hair. They have supplements that treat hair growth from the inside out. They are really covering all their bases here. I really appreciate what this brand is doing. And I have mentioned this before in one of my previous videos, but I want to mention it again here. My sweet, sweet mom went through chemo last year and cancer treatment. What a fun year to have to do that. That was intriguing. Thankfully, she is cancer free now, but due to the chemotherapy treatments, she lost a lot of her hair and she was doing all the procedures that you're supposed to do in order to keep your hair, including cold capping and using all the hair care products that were recommended to her by the company. After a certain period of time, after you've had chemotherapy, your hair is supposed to start growing back. Instead, in her case, she was still continuing to lose hair. She was still shedding quite a bit. There was absolutely no regrowth happening and her hair was just becoming thinner and thinner. Her products that she was using weren't working. Keratin was so kind and they actually sent her just a hair care package, a care package for her hair. And after the first wash, she noticed significantly less shedding. Yes, she did take pictures and show me how much hair she was losing and then how much hair she lost that wash day. It was great. There was so much less hair shed. And within a week, new hair growth had started. She was using Keratin's intensive growth drops as well as the freshening shampoo and conditioner. She also started taking their supplements after checking with her doctor that everything would be good on that front. And, and her hair went from this to this in this amount of time. I can't remember the exact amount of time. Editing Courtney is gonna help me out. 
she was thrilled. Yes, there is the small chance that it just took her longer for her to stop shedding and start regrowing hair and it was a coincidence when she used the keratin products that she noticed less shedding. But I'm going to corroborate her evidence by saying that in my personal experience, I've talked about this too before on my channel, I went through a season of what I think was telogen effluvian stress induced hair loss. 2020 was stressful and I started noticing an amazing amount of hair shed for me in the shower. I've been taking care of my waves and curls for three years at this point and I know what normal shedding looks like for me when I'm styling my waves and curls and not washing my hair as often as I used to and I know what excessive hair loss looks like. I was experiencing excessive hair loss. I didn't know what to do. I was losing a lot of hair, trying not to freak out about it, but I was starting to freak out about it. When my mom used the keratin products and had immediate results, I was like, okay, it can't hurt me to try it. So I tried keratin as well and had the same experience. From the first wash, my hair shedding went down. Like there wasn't as much hair shed in the shower when I was washing and styling my hair. I was thrilled. That has absolutely been the case every time I've washed my hair with these products. I don't use these products every time I wash my hair because I'm Courtney and I like to experiment and play and I get distracted and I have squirrel moments where I just want to try different things. But when I do pick up the keratin products for a wash day, Every time I use them, I do notice less hair shed when I, when I wash my hair. I don't understand all the science behind that. That is my experience. It was my mom's experience. We're real excited about it. So <laughs> there you go. I hope this video was helpful to you. Please feel free to check out the description down below if you want to check out these products. Thank you, Keratin, so much for sending me these products and for being willing to sponsor this video. Guys, I cannot tell you how resistant I was to trying these products. As soon as I talked about my hair loss, I had so many companies reach out to me and offer to work with me in exchange for sponsored posts. And <laughs> I was just not interested in working with hair growth company brands. Honestly, I thought they were full of snake oil, that they don't really work. And when Keratin offered to send products to my mom and they worked so well for my mom and then I decided to try them and they worked so well for me, I was absolutely thrilled. So just know, common disclaimer, I will never ever tell you about products that I don't think are amazing. I will never ever recommend products that I haven't used, tested out, tried thoroughly myself and think are 100% worth it. I know this is a spendier brand, but if you are looking to remedy hair shedding, hair loss, this is absolutely worth looking into. All right, guys, I hope you are having an absolutely fantastic day and I will talk to y'all later. Bye.